Hi, on your screen right now is an iPad. If you're not familiar with going to the Apple Store, it's as simple as finding the icon that looks like this, that says App Store. Tap it. Up in the top right hand corner in this area, type in Wheel It Off. And simply, when you do, you'll see this section right here and it will say Purchase and that's all you need to do. Once it's downloaded and on your tool, you will see an icon that looks like this. Wheel it off right here. And let me pull this up here for a moment. And all you're going to do, and we are going to quickly walk you through the basic steps, so please uh, watch this video once or twice and you'll get the idea of what you'll want to do. So the first thing you do, you are now in Wheel It Off. And let me give you, uh, first off, every place you see up here where there's a question mark, you need to take your iPad. Right now, if you notice the button here is on your left, this is called Landscape. If you turn your iPad simply this way, this is called Portrait. Landscape, Portrait, turn it back. Click this question mark right here and everything you generally want to see is going to show you this here. But also, see the video tutorial right up here? Tap on the video tutorial, the video box, and you're going to see a nice simple video if you tap any of these buttons such as how do I do or move a label. You tap it one time, you can take your iPad, turn it back to landscape mode and watch the video. Really simple. So again, how do you get out of this? Tap done, top left hand corner, take your iPad back to portrait mode and click on close. Really simple. Let me give you the basic rundown of what we feel is a great setup of how and what you should do. And again, this is on on all the tutorials as well. Click this gear button right up here to the right. You're going to see the gear button. And again, pause this, rewind it to figure out what you may want to do. So based on if you use square feet or square yards, go ahead and type this in right here or tap it one time with your finger. So anything I want to do here, I'm, I'm tapping with my finger. I use square yards. Great. Let's take your finger, scroll down a little bit more. User location. User location is that blue dot. Now you'll find it annoying a little bit if you're trying to, for instance, where my office is, you'll want to turn that off. So I'm going to, I'm going to tap right here and go from map to satellite view right up in this area. I'm going to tap this button once and you'll see what I mean saying let's turn that off. How do we turn it off? No big deal. Hit the gear button, scroll on down to this location and let's turn that off. There you go, it is now turned off. The next item you're going to want to do, and again, line color, area colors, this is all pretty obvious. I like to show you right off the bat, let's go to your font sizes. Tap this button right here, tap it one time, kick your polygon up to 20, and take your area, which is this right here, you see I'm just sliding it, it shows you if it gets bigger or smaller, take that up to 18. Now you don't hit save, just tap on the screen, and it takes it down. So again, if you look here, that's pretty much the basics of it. Line width, I like it thin. Transparency, seven is nice. Now we're set up, ready to go. Most important thing you're gonna see, you have some icons up here and icons on the bottom. Pretty obvious. This little on off down here is pretty important, okay? And again, play with this and let's, let's see what you do. So I now, I can't find my crosshair. What do we do? Come on down here, tap on the crosshair. This little guy is your measuring tool, okay? So simply put, if I tap once, oop, let's, let's get rid of this. What do we do? I'm gonna hit the garbage can. So I wanna quickly tap, 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 now, I hate those pins. They have a use to, you'll see in the tutorials, but if I wanna get rid of those pins, come on down here, tap pin, turn it off. Now we have a nice area, okay? I now I'm gonna come down here, and I have to lock it. And I'm gonna call this pave, 
and I'm going to tap OK. And I have a section here for 4,000 square yards of pavement. Now remember, I'll say it one more time just because click on this question mark, go to videos, how do I tap this and how do I move labels, how do I do all the customizations. That's going to be more in depth. And again, you're up and running in a couple minutes. I want to show you now what's really important. How do you link this to pavement layers or landscape layers? You have a username and a password. All you do, once you get an image, and again, if I want to zoom in some more, tap over here to the two times zoom, and let's zoom in. I'm using my fingers to turn it and pinch it, whatever we want to do. Let's say I want to add this to a proposal. Let me show you here really simply what you do. Tap pavement layers button right here. Okay, you are going to add in your username and password. Username is Mike at pavementlayers.com. And I'm on the iPad doing this. You only need to do this once. And my password is entered. All I do now is click a login. It will tell me I'm logged in. If it tells you you have a problem, you need to go out to Pavement Layers and find your username and password. Now I'm logged in, and you need to have a place to put the photo in Pavement Layers. So all you simply do is, my client here is going to be, oh heck, let's send this to, there we go. Let's send this to um, any of the companies. And again, I could type in here United, Dairy Farmers, there it is. I'm going to send this to a proposal that we did for the Bob Evans restaurant. So all you need to do is first identify in pavement layers a client you're sending it to. You're set up now with Wheel It Off and now all I need to do is send this image into pavement layers. Error, it needs a title. But a title name. Now we're set up to say, click this one time, and you're gonna see right up here, sending file, it sent it to pavement layer. So, so now we know we did a job for United Dairy Farmers for the Bob Evan project. So let's type in Bob Evans. Now this is pavement layers, which you'll watch your tutorials on how to do this, but it's as simple as going in, editing the proposal, now we're going to see the Bob Evans proposal. Simply come down to the proposal image section. You'll see it automatically sitting here. All we need to do is give it a title, paving zone. Now you need to activate it. Let's put it in the proposal and what the heck, let's also include it in the work order. Now remember, click this question mark here. It's gonna show you a video on how to do this section. And here's a picture of the image we didn't wheel it off and all we simply do is click updates add notes if you wish and once it's updated now we can see exactly what a proposal looks like now you can see very quickly we have a proposal content specifications and in less than a couple seconds we have a beautiful image uploaded into your proposal and that could be one per page two or four and a lot of other options as you see it's super simple to use wheel it off to include images into proposals your customers will love it your crews will love it with work orders and most importantly it'll enable you to get home faster and happier to your family and friends thank you and remember please contact us with any questions at support at pavementlayers.com. Thank you.